Today I will show you how to hide .html or .php extension from the normal HTML or PHP site which is present in the URL. For example, we open our first create a sample website we have created. So we can see it index.html. So yeah, there is we can see there is there is an index page, the about page when click on about page you showed the about.html or something the survey.html and there is something inside it. So we can see the .html file uh, extension is present in the URL at the end. So if we do want to remove it, we just want to remove it, just we want service to open. So for doing this, we need two things. First, we need a WAM server. First, we need a WAM server and then a Notepad++ plus plus recommended. You can use also a Notepad, but Notepad++ plus plus will be recommended because it is more user friendly than Notepad. So what we have to do, just we have to first open the WAM server, go to start WAM server, click on start WAM server and then on yes, then we can see the WAM server has been started. When the WAM server turns green, it shows that the WAM server is online and we put, put a cursor over it, it will show WAM server server online. We show that WAM server is working well. So when the WAM server is installed, basically it is present in your C drive. When you install WAM server, basically in C drive or any other drive which you have installed in, you open that, that we will see a WAM folder. Open the WAM folder, and inside there is a www folder. All the project we create that is to be run on the WAM has to be put under this www folder. So we have created a folder example, and then under that, what I have shown you before, the index page, about page, and service page are placed here. So to access these pages from the WAM server, what we have to do, open a new tab, type 127.0.0.1. You can see a WAM server landing page. This is the WAM server landing page. If this page it does, doesn't open, you should look after the configuration of the WAM server or your WAM server has not been configured well. So after this opening page, we can see all the folders and projects which are present under the WW folder are listed here. So we have created example, we click on it. Basically, at first, you load the index.html. When we click on about.html, it loads the about.html. Then on service.html, we get the service.html. Now, basically, what we want, basically, what I'm trying to show you in this video, is to remove this.html. We will just need get this. So this will look much more sophisticated and good looking to the viewers of your website. So for this, you just need one to do what you need to do. Open Notepad. Go to Start. Type Notepad. You will see a notepad plus plus open notepad plus plus file new. So what you have to do, you have to copy paste the uh, command which I will put which is present in the link in the description part. Just copy it, right click, copy it, just paste it over there. The basic part is that it is a rewrite module. What we are doing is to rewrite module. So first if you don't have your rewrite module enabled in your uh, WAM server just reach over to WAM server, left click it, then on Apache, then on Apache module, just go down, go down a bit, there will be a rewrite module, rewrite underscore module, just tick it, as I have already been done, you just click it once, then again it, it will, uh, then it will, sh again the WAM server will turn red, then yellow, and then green, it turn, after it turns green, then you, then you have to save this file. How you save? You, you there is a trick behind this. You have to save it file, save as, save it inside the folder of the project where you want the trick that .html or .php want to be removed. Open the file, bam, www, and for us example, it is the example folder, example folder, and here in the file name, you just type .htaccess. Just type .htaccess and save it after saving so looking after the command it is showing that if module module rewrite.c it is it is enabling the rewrite module and then here the rewrite module is engine is on it says that if the file condition file name if the file name is having after slash dot html or dot php you have to remove it so for here it is written php for example for our example we have used html so just replace it with dot html and then again file save it close it and now switch over to again 127.0.0.1 and just click it now we have 
example so before this you have to change your code a bit now open the index page edit it with notepad plus plus so we can see that dot html just we have to remove dot html we don't need to write dot html now because we have used the rewrite module just remove the html which we have written in previously and then save it close it then open the about page do the same the remove dot html from all the links just remove all the html and then file save close it then open the service page right click edit with notepad plus plus remove the dot html extension or the ending part from the page then again file save it and close it and close notepad plus plus now open the web server again refresh it and then you can see your example now click on about you can see that your about works fine without any extension now when you click on service there is no extension at all so this is how it works if all the description is provided in the link in the description part please subscribe us so that we can bring out more videos and it will help us to grow more thank you